hello everyone so in this video i'm going to share with you a tool with which you can design your own website without any skill so uh, if you are a businessman or if you are a student or if you are a developer any work you do and if you need a website then now you do need to hire a developer or designer to do that for you because i'm going to show you a tool with which you can design your own website without any skills so this is the website fake cube you just need to go to google and search for it and you will find it at the top and if you click on this website you will find all the details so as you can see this is the website and uh, to start uh, designing your own website or making your own website you just need to go and log into the website or click get started from here as you can see and if you scroll down you can see more details here so that how can you start it the step one is choose a template uh, that matches your e-commerce brand or any business and then step two you you can sign up and start your business website and as you can see there are templates here designs that you can choose and this is just a starting template you can make any design with the help of these uh, templates um, you will see in this video how can you do that and you will do this by drag and drop so as you can see there are all customer reviews here that is really good and helpful and believe me i used it they use this website personally and i feel very good about it so to start that as i said you need to log in to your account or you need to click get started to register a new account so if i go to login then this is a very simple login form with which you can enter your login credentials to go with it but i am going to uh, sign up a new account to show you the, the complete process so first of all you need to add your email so let me add my email here now after adding email you need to add password and then you need to add your first name or your business name but it should be your first name and then your last name and just hit create account and as you can see a very simple process it is not asking a, a very much information to start with now click start now now as you can see okay so in this step it is just asking asking three things side name side language and side z time zone so uh, let's enter side name first and i'm going to enter the same name that uh, i my channel name is and after that you need to select language and then time zone and then click next now in the second step it is just asking a template to choose a template to start with and there are three templates now and this is good enough this is enough for you because you can design any website with the help of these templates okay so click save and as you can see it is saying your site created successfully and this will be your link this will be your domain so click save and enter and as you can see this is the site this is the template that we choose uh, to start with and this is a very good design as you can see and this is basically a product based website design uh, as you can see uh, some boxes here and uh, some designs of divs and a footer and a header now let's go and edit the design so uh, as you can see there are no coding here you you just need to click the div the element that you want to uh, design you just need to select it and design it and as you can see this is our header and this is our main section and there are different options here to delete it and edit it and to redesign it and if you click it you can see this is giving the information and if you click to edit the header now as you can see it is giving us the pages name that we have in our header and we can design our header we can make height adjust height and width of our header and we can adjust logo and names so first of all let's add a logo so i'm going to choose a dummy logo to show you an example but you can you need to choose a perfect logo for your website okay i'm i'm going to choose this one and as you can see it is saying upload it successfully and this logo is kind of big so you can just adjust it by uh, adjusting the size as you can see this is a really easy thing and after that you can uh, select your website name 
so let me add techniki code that is my channel name and as you can see but now my heading my my website name is kind of glitchy so as you can see you can also adjust it so as you can see this is how easy it is to adjust and design your website even you can go and grab the title grab the heading and grab the name of your website and, and adjust it so this is as how easy it is you don't need to go any you don't need to go to edit this logo or edit this name of your website to go and edit in the next page or in the elsewhere but here as you can see you can easily design it from one screen and there are also different options here you can adjust the text color you can adjust the font settings and you can also align adjust the alignment so you can do any stuff from here okay now let's go and edit this main section so let's click this heading and let's go to the content and let's add a content here i'm going to add a dummy content as you know i'm just going i'm, I'm just showing you an example but this is how easy it is so as you can see i have added some content here but it is not showing it up here completely because as i said uh, you need to adjust everything from here because i added more text here so i just need to add some width here and adjust the text from here and as you can see now it's look perfect now let's add a paragraph here to add a paragraph here you just need to select this paragraph and again you just need to go to the content and add your paragraph I'm again adding some dummy text but you need to add some proper text for your website SEO so uh, as you can see the same thing the width issue because I increase the text so I also in need to increase the width and this is very easy I just need to select the select the div select the text like the heading paragraph or anything and as you can see this is very easy and now this is our button so to edit this button just need to select it and in content you can give it a name and as you can see you can increase the width of your button and you can also increase the height of your button and there are different things you can also adjust the different alignments margins and borders and you can also give it a size and a color so these are the things that you can do by yourself okay so first thing first after designing and editing don't need to forget the save button hit the save button and when you hit the save button the, the changes that you have will be saved successfully and then you can just click the preview button and you can see the changes that you have made in your website as you can see uh, now our website is a little more enhanced so this is just an example but you can do more you can do more designing you can do more stuff like you can change images from here so let's add another image and as you can see I changed image very easily I changed this image very easily just drag and drop and I can adjust it as I want so this is just an example that I'm showing you you can do a lot of more stuff you can you can you just need to give some time to your website to your design and you can do a lot of stuff so let's save these changes and let's hit preview button and as you can see now the changes that we made is here and there are different sections so uh, that you can design but now I'm going to show you that how can you add different more sections so you just need to click the this button from this left sidebar and as you can see there are different options so I'm going to grab the carousel that is slider and as you can see this is our slider so let's add a slider here so I'm showing you an example that how you can also add a slider into your website so let's uh, add editor and first of all we need to add some images okay so add an image you just need to click this slider div and just select an image or upload a new image I'm going to select this one again to show you an example and just click insert 
and as you can see the image has been inserted successfully and you can also give it a, a and you can also give it some alignment options and some height and background and name and uh, so these are the properties of your slider image and if you click next this is the second box you just need to click it and you just need to select another image for it and you just need to select another image for it so I'm going to select this one now and as you can see upload it successfully and now it is showing and you can also adjust the, uh, the properties of your image so click next and in the third box you just need to add uh, click this third box and add the image again with the same procedure so select this image from here and as you can see upload it successfully so this is our slider so let's click save and let's hit the preview button and as you can see uh, in this here we have our slider and we can scroll it very easily and as you can see all three images that we have uploaded are showing here so this is an example but you can do more stuff you can just go to this option and you can add more divs more headings more text more buttons and media you can also add video and in the second option as you can see this is the structure of your website that is showing here first you have a <coughs> banner you have a header you have a footer you have an active list you have a sidebar introduction and active style so this is your section menu so this is showing that in this web website you have these sections so you can also change the styles of these sections by selecting another uh, another template that is showing here as you can see so there are a lot of options here so with the help of this tool you can easily design your website either you are running a business either you're running a shop or any business for which you need to make a website so you can do that with the easy steps by using this tool that is called fiq now the main thing is how can you publish this website so you just need to click publish center that is this option and you need to add some uh, text over here that why you are publishing this website and as you can see now in a millisecond you will get a link of your website so this is your link so this is how easy to design your website and show it to others and make yourself stand out so i hope that this video helped you to design your own website with the help of this tool and i found this tool very helpful and i will be glad if this video will be helpful for you or if this tool will be helpful for you